Hello, if you want to travel to France, I have all the rules that you need to know. So the French rules are a little confusing depending on what country you're coming from and whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated. So I've actually made three different videos on this because like I said, it is different depending on what country you're coming from and your vaccination status. So this video is for if you're coming from an orange country. So this image over my face right now is a current breakdown of what countries are what colour. So you can see all the countries here that are orange. This video is for you, like the UK. If you're coming from a green country, I will link both the videos below. Alternatively, if you are vaccinated and you're coming from a green country, I will link it up here. Or you can find both the links, whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated, traveling from a green country down below. This video is just for if you're from an orange country, and I will talk about both being vaccinated and unvaccinated in this video. And then I say this in all of my videos, things are constantly changing, especially with COVID. I will do my best to update this video. Uh, if anything changes, I put updates in the description below or I'll pin a comment. So please make sure you're checking that to see if anything has changed. On top of this, please do your own research. Even if this video was posted yesterday, still just double check, click the links, find the websites just double check the rules are still the same because anything can happen with COVID. And then with that, everything I do mention, I will link below in the description. So you can find all the important links there. Everything that I mention right now has come from those links. So I think the last travel update for France was on the 12th of February. I expect we will see another update soon. But any questions you have, feel free to comment them below and I will do my best to get back to you. You can also tweet me or DM me on Twitter at AutopilotAv or you can DM me on Instagram at AutopilotAviation. So with that, let's get on to the video. So what do you actually need to be able to travel to France from an orange country? So, if you're vaccinated, you must show proof of vaccination. And France have a lot of rules in terms of what classes are fully vaccinated. So, I'm going to do my best to go through them here. And like I said, if you don't understand them, you can always ask me a question in the comments or on Twitter or Instagram, whatever is best for you. So, you are considered fully vaccinated a complete 28 days after receiving one dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine seven days after a second dose of other vaccines approved by the European Medicines Agency. So just make sure the correct number of days has passed since your last vaccine. If you've had the Johnson & Johnson, it's 28 days. Pretty much if you've had a two-dose vaccine, it's seven days. Now, France have also put like an expiry date on vaccines as well. So also to be considered fully vaccinated, if you're aged 18 and over you must have one of these things. So you must have either received the second dose of a two-dose vaccine at least a week ago, but no more than nine months ago. Or you received a single-dose vaccine at least 28 days ago, but no more than nine months ago. Or you received the first dose of vaccination at least a week before travel, and you have previously had COVID-19, at least 11 days ago and within the last six months. Or if you have had the COVID-19 booster, then that discounts all of those. So pretty much if your last dose of the vaccine was more than nine months ago, then you are considered unvaccinated unless you have had the booster. If you've had the booster, then you're fully vaccinated. If you're aged 18 and under, there's no requirement for a booster and you're regarded as fully vaccinated if you've received your full course. If you're aged 12 and under, there's no requirement for a vaccine. Uh, now, I will get to children in a second because they are slightly different, but that should cover all of the vaccine rules. Now, on top of providing proof of vaccination, you'll also have to complete a statement of honour, which I will link below. And it basically just certifies 
that you're free from COVID-19 symptoms and you haven't been in contact with a confirmed case of COVID-19 for the 14 days prior to your departure date. And I do believe this must be printed out and completed. You no longer require any tests to enter. This is all you need, just proof of vaccination and the statement of honour. So what about children? Like I said, they're slightly different. So children aged 11 and under are exempt from all requirements. If aged 12 to 17 and unvaccinated, you must show proof of a negative PCR test result taken within 72 hours or an antigen test taken within 48 hours pre-departure and complete the statement of honour. If you're not travelling with a fully vaccinated adult, you must also complete the certificate of travel. So you must have an essential reason to travel to France. But if you are travelling with a fully vaccinated adult, then you don't need to be vaccinated and you only need to do a test. You don't need a reason to be there. All right, and then I'm going to talk quickly on unvaccinated people. Now, if you're coming from an orange country and you're unvaccinated, it's very difficult to get into France. So if you are unvaccinated, coming from an orange country, you must have an essential reason to visit France. I will link all the given reasons below, but unfortunately tourism is not an essential reason. If you do have an essential reason and you can travel to France unvaccinated, then you will need a certificate of travel. You must also take either a negative PCR test taken within 72 hours or an antigen test taken within 48 hours pre-departure if aged 12 years and over. And finally, you will have to complete the sworn statement. So the biggest thing is just make sure you have an essential reason if you are unvaccinated and you do complete that certificate of travel. So that pretty much covers everything. If this did help you, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a like and subscribe. Like I said, check the comments and the description for any updates. Feel free to ask me any questions you may have. Follow me on all my socials below. Thank you all for watching, stay safe and happy travelling!